Our next guest is one of the most influential female content creators of our time. Her identity as a Muslim veiled fitness content creator has monumentally shaped and inspired the lives of many young women. With millions of followers, she has revolutionized the modest gym wear industry. Please welcome Liana Deep. Hi. So I'm going to be starstruck a lot today and I follow you and I love your content. You are amazing. You've got a great voice and a, an, an amazing energy to you, a lot of warmth. First of all, I just want to start off by, can you tell us all over here, how did you get into this and how did you suddenly became, become this like massive star? It felt like overnight. I guess I started by just posting on social media. I went, before obviously I wasn't wearing the hijab. I was posting my transformation. I went from being very underweight to then basically having a good physique, I guess you could say. And I just stayed consistent on there. And yeah, I guess I just started gaining a million followers a month. I'm not sure how Whoa. or where it was coming from. I wish that happened to me by accident. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. I guess Five million of you showed up. <laughs> and yeah, here I am today, just still going at it, but now wearing a hijab. And I think that's so interesting because you say like you don't know how it happened, but yeah, we've all seen your content and you're, you are inspirational, but you're, you're also real. I think that's for me, you know, I, I'm not Muslim. I don't wear a hijab, but I, I'm still, I'm really involved in your content. But I want to know when you made the decision to wear the hijab, did you notice any difference with your followers, positive or negative? And then how did that sort of inspire you to keep going? Yeah, I definitely saw a a very supportive side and then also you have the other side where people kind of just you know reject religion a little bit which is okay because I was honestly the same way whenever I was younger I kind of rejected religion didn't understand the reasonings behind it and so overall it's been support I've lost followers but I've also gained so many more followers I still gained about a million followers even after putting on the hijab which was very surreal to me because I thought you know if I take this risk I could lose everything but yeah, I. It's been it's been good. It's and, been a new community. And it's amazing that it worked out. And since we bring up the negative comments, uh, I do want to talk about overall the vote, the, the Olympics were recently. Uh, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about like wearing hijab stops people being able to work their hardest or do their best or to have the flexibility. What would you say to those people? Do you think it's impeded your fitness progress in any way? No. If anything, I think it's helped me along the way by not relying on just the physical aspect of fitness. It's more of the mental for me now. Mm -hmm. Before I would always look in the mirror and like constantly looking for that progress. You know, you start going to the gym and you want to see instant results. Now it's more about like, I am doing this for my mental strength and still being able to see progress through that. And it has honestly made me stronger. I feel like it's a, it's like a, I guess you could say like a weapon, not a weapon. Not a weapon. <laughs> no, but I know, but I but, know exactly yeah. what you're saying. And I think that leads us in nicely to Uplift You. Tell us about Uplift You, why you started it, because it's an amazing community already. Thank you. Um, I started, well, Uplift You was first Lift with Liana. Okay. So before I was connecting to my faith, I really only turned to fitness for my mental health and that was my outlet, my only outlet. And whenever I started practicing more habits like journaling, prayer, or meditation, I then understood that fitness is not the only thing that's going to help me overall. I need to do more things for my anxiety. I like, you know, mentioning anxiety. I really struggled with that. And I, I guess uncertainty wasn't a good thing that I dealt with and journaling helped me prayer. And so I turned Lift with Liana into Uplift You, which that meant I also had to remove every single workout video whenever I wasn't wearing the hijab. And there was thousands of people on this app. So it's like you're removing everything from from them if they you know if they want to see you train that way and now you're wearing a hijab doing it refilmed everything and so yeah I'm surprised that we have kept a lot of those subscribers and the people that want to train with me they they do it because I guess they love me they love who I am and that I'm being honest and real with my journey I mean I've seen a lot of people comment online about how committed you are and how incredible it was that you filmed all these videos for many years deleted them and then refilmed them so hats off to you first of all now you are here in Dubai so we do need to talk about it what are you doing here during the uh, Dubai Fitness Challenge I am doing a workout class and a Q&A but 
You bring up Dubai. I actually, the first time I ever wore the hijab was in Dubai. I, I literally flew out here during Ramadan because I was like, I want to feel comfortable in a Muslim country. Um, and so I love Dubai. I love the energy, the culture, the people here. They're so supportive and nice. And yeah, so I, I was telling my manager, I want to do Dubai Active. And then all of a sudden, Dubai Active reaches out. And we didn't even reach out yet. And it was just, I you guess- You manifested it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And um, so, yeah, I'm just so excited to see everyone at Dubai Active. And is it big here for women, regional women, to train in the gym, like mixed gym, mixed environments? Would yes. you say? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. There's, I mean, there, most of the gyms and even say like, I play a lot of paddle, for example, there are paddle courts that are ladies only and there's always availability for ladies only. But there, it is mainly a lot of mix, but there's a lot of respect within that. Right. So there'll still be hijabi female athletes within the gyms. I mean, you, I mean, I go as, to as a mixed the man gym. Here. Yes, yes. No, uh, we do have some hijabis in the gym, uh, and they, as far as I can tell, feel perfectly comfortable there. If they're not comfortable with men being in the gym, obviously, um, there's also female-only gyms. There's female-only beaches here in yeah. the UAE. So Are they comfortable amazing. being in the gym when you're flexing your muscles in the mirror? I mean, I don't think anyone's comfortable <laughs> at that time. No, that's true. That's true. But tell us about your modest wear, because I know even at your age, like in my 20s with my cousins, a lot of them are veiled. There were so few options. You were kind of just mixing and matching and layering, and now there's plenty to choose from. So how have you inspired that, and what are you working on at the moment? So I have inspired, I guess, layering. I don't know if it's if the UAE has a lot more options than the US, but the US didn't have much. I was always shopping in the men's section and then layering an undertop with baggy sweatpants that were always hot. and. I have spoken up about it to big brands like Gymshark and them actually listening to me and understanding me. And so we are actually coming out with a collection in January, Ooh. which is gonna be in Dubai. And I'm gonna be opening it here in the store that is coming to Dubai Mall. So it's gonna be so exciting. And I want everyone to have pieces from the collection because it will help you in your fitness wear and in the gym. And yeah, it's super exciting. That Leanna, we are super excited to have you on the show. And we're so excited that you're gonna be continuing on with us for the rest of it, but right now it's time for a break. Don't go anywhere though, because coming up next, we're gonna be chatting to the Dubai Department of Economy and Tourism and finding out how the Dubai Fitness Challenge first came to be. But first, let's find out who's gonna be performing for us later on the show. This is Venus and the Chillies Band, and watch out for our original song, Champion in Me. And so what are you waiting for? Stay tuned and watch out until the end for our performance. <laughs> 